wasn't. It was natural for you because yeah. it, it happened all the time, I see. How did your brothers and sisters treat you? Heaven. Loving. Yeah. They were loving towards Caring. you. Did they make you smile? Yeah. What kind of things did they do? Did they play with you? They ran around me. They ran around you? Did they take you out ever? You spent all of your time in that house? Yeah. Now you were only... And in the car. And in the car. What kind of places did your parents take you in the car? Where did they take you in the car? Your mum and dad? Did they take you out for drugs? Picnics. They took you out for picnics. And what kind of food did you eat on these picnics? What was your favourite? Cakes. Cakes. What kind of cakes? Strawberry flavoured. Strawberry cakes. What, with real strawberries on them? Yeah. They were your favourite. Did you have cream with them too? Or were they just strawberry cakes? Strawberry. Just strawberry, simple strawberry cakes. And then they'd take you back. Now, you were living there happily with your mum and your dad and all those brothers and sisters. Why did you leave that home where you were happy? Why are you in the hospital now? Can't look after me anymore. They can't look after you anymore? Too much. You're too much. They're not here. What happened to your mum and dad? Something's happened to your mum and dad so they can't look after you. And you loved them so much. And suddenly they're not there anymore. Too old. They're too old to look after you. So they've put you in this hospital, have they? Yes. Not a nice hospital. It's not a nice hospital. No. What's wrong with it? Funny people then. Jittery people. Jittery people? Yeah. So is it a, an ordinary hospital mm. or is it a sanatorium? Sanatorium. You're in a sanatorium. Can you have proper conversations with the people that's in there? No, don't talk. They don't talk? What sort of things do they do? Can't talk, I just sit and stare. You just sit and stare. And do the people in there treat you well? Do yeah. the other... I keep dribbling as well. What? I keep dribbling. You keep dribbling, and is there anybody there to mop it up? Just now and then. Now and then. But the rest of the time, you just sit there dribbling. I want to move you ahead a little ways. You hate this hospital, don't you? Yes. What do you wish would happen? What do you wish would happen to you when you're sitting there in your chair dribbling? What do you want to happen? Just to be loved again. Just to be loved again? Yeah. And you don't feel loved now? No. But your mum and dad, even though they're too old to look after you, you know they still love you, don't you? They're not here anymore. Are they dead? Yeah. How did they die? Did they both die of old age? Was there an accident? You're beginning to remember now. What happened to your mum and dad? Old. They were old. Did they just die? Yeah. They just died. And when they died, would none of your brothers and sisters look after you? No. And that made you feel very much unloved? Yeah. So what happens to you? You're in your 40s. You're in a sanatorium where you don't want to be. What happened to you? Did you end your days in that sanatorium? Yeah. You died there, did you? Mm-hmm. How old were you when you died? Young. Still young? In your forties? Mm -hmm. And you died in your forties? And this has made you feel very sad, but there's no reason for you to be sad now. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, that's so weird. That is weird. There's a drink of water. Oh, you're crying a little. That was a tough one. Quite frankly, you've been through the mill. How clear was it when it came through? Because the thing that I noticed and that people didn't see, you contorted into a position where your neck was kind of down onto your chest. What do you remember about about the paralysis thing? It was just awful. It just came on all of a sudden and it just, like, moved up the right. body. Yeah. And I could feel... I had no control over it and I could actually feel going to one side and then the pain in my neck running down was just, oh, I was really, in, like, intense, and it was just, and my, I remember, I knew my hands were there. But you couldn't lift but them. But I just could not even move a finger. I was trying my hardest. Yeah. I was trying to fight it, and I was trying to move my fingers, but I just couldn't. And you couldn't do it. Because you'd gone to this place, and maybe this is the reason why you were reluctant to get there in the first place, I because it so. wasn't going to be a pleasant... Yeah, there was something stopping me. There was, like, I felt as though I was just, it was just a brick 
big brick black wall. wall. So you were in a, a sanatorium yeah. with really small windows, and you've had a bit of a sob because this wasn't a, a pretty no, place to be. No, Fairly not. stark ward. You had jittery people around you, men. Yes. You were a so man. Men. So man, yeah. How did it feel like to be a man? You didn't get any of the benefits from <laughs> it because you were kind of welded into your seat from yeah, a child. Just, yeah. And you had childhood memories of living in a big house. Mm -hmm. I remember just being in the front room. What was the front room like? It had a big bay window. Yeah. Wooden floors. Looking out onto what? Just a street, and then it was like grass. Was it a modern street? Modern cars or, or no? Um, no. So what were the cars mm. like? Big and black. Big and black. Old-fashioned cars. Old-fashioned, yeah. Right. And what were the people wearing on the street, if you could, if you can remember? Couldn't really. It wasn't really busy. Right. Wasn't like you described your parents pretty clearly. Your mum was dark-haired and very smart. Yeah. Your dad had slick back. Yeah, he was had a big round tummy. He was rounded. Oh, he had a round tummy, he did he? He was a rounded man, yeah. Yeah. Pinstripe. And my mum was skinny. Your mum was skinny. Tiny waist and nice black neat hair. Neat hair. Kills. How long was the dress? It was past the knee. Past the knee? Yeah. Like, um, like, well, like calf length, I suppose, yeah. So we're talking probably 20s, 30s, 40s, we're thinking. Does that sound right? Yeah. For the cars and stuff? OK. You were a child in those days, and your parents, they had a lot of children, but it sounds like they had some of the children when they were quite old, because your parents died. Yeah. And you had no... Can, do you have any memory of your parents' death now? No. They just died, and they had nobody to look after you. How did you feel mm. when, you, when your brothers and sisters refused to look after you too? Well, I just... They just never came to see me, so... So you were placed in there yeah, by... Yeah, placed in there and then just left there. Left to die, and you died in your 40s, surrounded by what must be a horrific existence. Yeah. Over. And it made you feel at the end of it very lonely and very unloved. Yeah. You don't feel unloved in life, in, in this life, though, do you? No, no. You all right? Yeah. Well, I don't know you very well. Yet, I think the previous life, taking lessons from it, I think you've been very brave in this life because I think you've got a lot of issues, parental issues, and I think a lot of it might come from the insecurity of not being able to cope at all by yourself in this previous life. Mm -hmm. Because you're insecure, I think you're insecure now. I think you desperately want to be loved by everybody and you try really hard to be loved by everybody and people don't understand mm -hmm. and some people will take advantage and some won't. Does this sound real? Yeah, spot on. <laughs> if you feel insecure then, anything that happens now is going to make you more insecure. Because, oh, this one doesn't love me enough, or that one didn't love me enough, or... And ultimately, the truth is, none of those people matter now. Because you're incredibly brave, you're strong, you're bright. What more do you need to be? You don't need other people. You feel deep down, I would 